Welcome to Branching Out. I'm Jenna Moeller, Professional Learning Coordinator with the Kane County Regional Office of Education. Are you looking for a way to give students more ownership over their learning and differentiate instruction in any learning environment? According to the HyperDoc Handbook, Digital Lesson Design Using Google Apps by Kelly Hilton, Lisa Highfill, and Sarah Landis, a HyperDoc serves as a digital document, like a Google Doc or a Google Slides, containing everything a student needs to learn. If the students need to read something or watch something, it's embedded in the document as well as opportunities to reflect on their learning. Utilizing a HyperDoc provides you the flexibility to work individually with students, adapt learning materials for students based on their needs, and provide students the ability to work at their own pace. Let's look at a few examples from the authors of the HyperDoc Handbook. On their website, they have sample HyperDocs for all subjects in all grades. This is a HyperDoc example in a Google Doc for proportional reasoning. As you can see, there are opportunities for students to wonder, play, and review, all with links to content. There's opportunities for students to practice. There's choice embedded. And there's even opportunities for collaboration. This is another HyperDoc example for reading reflection in Google Slides. Students engage in various reflection opportunities and respond in a variety of ways. Sometimes they type their response. Sometimes they orally record their response. And sometimes they respond with a visual representation. And again, there's always opportunities for them to collaborate with their peers and extend their learning. How can you utilize a HyperDoc in the next few weeks to engage students in learning? It's your turn to branch out and share your experience incorporating the HyperDoc with us. As always, thanks for watching Branching Out!